Hello everyone! On today's video we are going to break down some of the speculations and claims involving Quad and Dr. Greg as well as discuss the dynamics of this friendship between the ladies on the show and possibly what we have to look forward to on the next season. If this interests you please stick around because I have all that and more on the Kenya Williams channel. Welcome back cousins. If this is your first time tuning in, I am Kenya. Thank you for clicking on this channel and we hope that you stick around for many more videos to come. On this channel, we mainly discuss Married to Medicine. Although I do plan to start a separate playlist in the near future about my life and travels, my focus right now is to bring you all all the juicy tidbits of the show we know and love. My job is to bring you all the tea in between seasons that I gather from vlogs, social media, and other reliable sources to hold y'all over and possibly spark ideas of what to look forward to on the next season. So if you like the idea of the in-between time drama and like to stay in the know, take this time to subscribe, join our family, then hit the notification bell. I promise you, you won't regret it. But without further ado, let's launch this video off. If you've clicked on this video, that means you were captured by the title or the thumbnail. Now we have made multiple guesses of what's to come on the newest season, like Phaedra Parks from Real Housewives of Atlanta due to her supposedly dating a doctor and friendship with Quad, Anila possibly exiting, which I confirmed in my last video as well as Contessa's departure, which I also recently confirmed, a return from Queen Mariah, and speculations that Dr. Greg and his new fiance possibly could be joining the show. Now, all these are possibilities, great ideas, and good guesses. To really shake up this season, I believe one, if not all, will make for a shockingly interesting season. Y'all will definitely want to stick around on this channel to count the possibilities when they do come to reality and review my responses. One of the most intriguing among the speculations, one of the most appealing, is the reintroduction of Dr. Greg and premiere of his new fiance Leticia. More news or hints have came out since I last talked about that. Hints that will confirm our suspicions. Okay so I believe we're all aware of how the filming process works with this show. For those of you who aren't let me shed some light. The show premieres in the later months of the year but by that time they're already beginning to film the next season which is why we see Halloween and Christmas episodes. Those are actually the previous year's holidays. For instance while we were watching season nine in 2022 with all the holidays they were actually filmed at the end of 2021 into the beginning of 2022. Why tell you all this you ask? Well let me explain. In between time all we have to go off of is the vlogs and their social media accounts. I believe they stopped filming around the January and February months so that they can have the spring and the summer. Months to recoup and prepare for more filming for later that year. Well doing what I believe to be one of the filming months or soon thereafter Dr. Simone and Dr. Heavily dropped some interesting interesting photos on their social media accounts. In this photo with Dr. Heavenly, you see a pic of her with Dr. Greg's now fiance, Leticia. For those of you who don't know, Dr. Greg is Quad's ex-husband, thus the reason she was even recruited to be on the show. Then when I rolled my bald headed self over to Dr. Simone's page, I noticed a similar picture with the couples all smiling, happy, and enjoying company. And even though this doesn't really exactly prove that Leticia and Greg will be on the show, it does show an alliance and an established connection to these current cast members. So these these pictures were posted in the off months, which means they possibly could have actually been taken during filming. Are some of you wondering what Quad may be thinking? I know I was. She seems unbothered by posting pictures since. That caption, keeping my eyes on the prize, everything else is noise, and enjoying life's treasures while enjoying her vacation in Africa. It leads us to question Quad's future on the show. Where does this leave her? And this is my theory. Even though Miss Quad claims to be a self-made entrepreneur, her true bread and butter is this show. We know her too well to believe she will allow anyone to run her away from that. And with all her new endeavors, I don't believe she would allow the main one to slip through her fingers at the risk of losing her house and everything else she's worked so hard for. And I don't want to assume, but yes, she has a lot of business ventures. But am I too naive to believe that Bravo is the main income and she would need that to sustain her lifestyle? I'm just being honest. And on top of that, this type of drama will boost the ratings. The only way that will happen though is if Quad is still on the show because people will be tuning in to see the interactions and responses. Not only that, but people will also want to see if Leticia will be able to stand on her own and weather the storm that is Quad. This poor lady doesn't even know what she's getting into. Or maybe she does because at this point filming is done. So let's take a look at the picture again now that we know what we know. She looks a little stressed to me. <laughs> Blink twice if you need help Leticia. But with filming complete only the cast knows. 
It's our jobs to pay attention to their social media in the meantime for clues, or maybe just my job and I keep y'all keyed in. All I'ma say is stay tuned cause I be watching them like a hawk baby. Now, if y'all are anything like me, I'm sure y'all are wondering with these pictures, where does that leave Quad and Heavenly? They've had their issues, but over the past couple of seasons, we've watched them become closer than ever. No doubt, this is another move by Bravo to stir the pot, but this is just crazy. There's also a possibility that Quad could care less, but no one could truly care less about something like that, right? It's almost like betrayal a little bit. From her friends and production, and unbeknownst to us, she could be in on it. She did mention in the interview with Carlos King that production offered her more money. Ain't no telling what kind of subjection she signed up for to get it. And then what about Simone? It's no secret that her and Quad's relationship has been frayed for a while now, and let Quad tell it, it's because of Toya. Now, Heavenly and Quad had their own alliance, but Heavenly and Simone do too. Throughout the seasons, the women have been broken down into three separate titled groups. You have the Married to Medicine group as a whole, which include based off of this past season, Jackie, Simone, Quad, Toya, Heavenly, Contessa, Anila, and Audra, who I don't believe is coming back, but I could be wrong. And then the next title group is the Fab Five, which includes Jackie, Simone, Quad, Toya, and Heavenly. But there's one more and we often forget about, and that's the Golden Girls. No, not that Golden Girls these Jackie Simone and Heavenly a self-titled name they've given themselves because of wisdom maturity and well age they're older than the rest of the group could it be that Simone and Heavenly have teamed up in this next season sure seems that way I mean they're the only ones posting up with the ops for now anyway I can see Toya jumping in on this trend too but wait what if in some alternate universe Quad and Letitia become besties and team up against the other women nah we all know Quad's ego and pride are way too large for that. Regardless, I know Mariah is somewhere rubbing her hands together like Birdman, having a merry little laugh. <laughs> this upcoming season is proven to be a true spectacle. I believe tension between Simone and Quad will be at an all-time high. Quad thinks Simone is a hater because she doesn't have as many fans or followers, and Simone thinks Quad is a fraud. Her words, not mine. But it sort of has a ring to it, don't you think? Quad the fraud? I like it. Tacky Toya, Quad the Fraud, Eugenia. <laughs> These names are killing me. But what do y'all think? Now I know most of my subbies aren't partial to Quad and I get it, but here's my opinion. Hear me out. If you're married, hanging out in a group with other married friends and you and your spouse decide to divorce, do you think it's fair for your still married friends not to want to hang out with you anymore because of your split? And if you're not taking sides, do you all think it's fair to do the same to your spouse? All I'm saying is real friends don't do that. I know we like to throw the word loyalty out there, but one thing we never considered is the husbands on this show. No, they don't typically get involved in the women's mess, but we never know what kind of bond they had with Greg. They could have been close to him, but because they love their wives, they had to choose what made them happy. They probably got enough of Quad and finally regretted it with all the drama she's ensued and said, shoot, bring Greg back. <laughs> but that's just me. Y'all let me know what y'all think though. I'm kinda on the fence with it all at this point. I love the cast lineup as it's looking right now. And I think Quad is good for the show, I do. Please don't come for me for saying that y'all, I just honestly do. I'm looking forward to y'all's perspectives, however, and don't hold back, cause I love it. Just remain respectful down there in the comment section because it's all love here, cousins. I'm trying to reach 3K subs before my vacation at the end of March. I know we can do it, so spread the love. And after that, spread the word. Like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already, and share if you care. Who knows? Maybe one of the cast will come across my videos if they haven't already. But the only way that'll happen is with y'all's help, cousins. Anywho, that's all I have for this video. Stay safe and be blessed. And until next time, bye.